What's going on guys, Matt Schaefer back here with another radar and laser defense system for you. This one is in a brand new Porsche Panamera e-hybrid, so let's check it out. So in this one we installed a AL priority system for laser defense paired with net radar DSP front and rear radar heads. Uh, so just kind of going over the front bumper. When we tackle this category, we always like to have the stealth approach, meaning we fabricate pods for each diffuser to blend in with the the aesthetics of the bumper so we always try and get the sensors into spots that are advantageous for the best defense in this case we have three heads up front we have a regular al priority diffuser which is right here in this custom made pod it's basically contoured as you can see starting there from the grill and it wraps around and contours around to the same shape as these louvers here. The front of it is skinned with a IR acrylic so it's infrared transmitting meaning the light can pass through this very easily to the diffuser. It's actually the same material that you see on the diffuser itself and the underneath of it is uh basically gloss black as well but as you can see it blends in right there underneath the fog light to have a very stealth and oem look in the center we have the tx sensor uh, which is a transmit sensor it's right here in the center it is great for variable pulse rate guns meaning the newer guns that uh, most cops use are variable pulse rate they're going to transmit in an algorithm and bounce across the front end of the car trying to find the weakest link whereas you know some of the older systems it's kind of a point and shoot where you point it is where it's going to reflect back in this case this is going to be imperative for defeating those newer guns like the dragon eye we mounted and created a bracket for the tx tx is right here and of course we give just a little element of design having this matte black trim to have it look like it's designed for the front end of the vehicle. The Net Radar DSP radar head is the highest that we could get it here in the bumper. So it's basically like right in this vicinity, right behind the plastic, not obstructed by any metal at all. Now, as far as the rear goes, we decided to make a license plate bracket setup that has the diffusers installed. Anytime that you have a plastic bumper like this, you can easily inset the sensors to have it look the best. So in this case, we have a moving tailgate, which sometimes in the past we've done them here on the tailgate, made little brackets and pods here. Uh, but in this case, I wanted to do something kind of different and a more OEM approach. So I actually got the matching paint and I sprayed this myself to give that OEM look. So when you look at it, it looks like it's a factory plate frame. And if you look at the side where the, where the green paint comes up, it comes up and it intersects with this line here. So when you look at it from back here, the lines look really good and they fit with that rear hatch. So this whole panel here, this acrylic is actually IR acrylic, all one piece. So this is not dual pieces. Uh, we just use our laser to mask off these designs. We painted over the, uh, the tape in the instance of this and this, and then we peeled everything off and then wet sanded and buffed everything when it was done. So to show you how the plate frame operates is it's actually really neat. So starting with here, you can just pull back. I'll try and do this with one hand. So. If you look at that, that's just a mimic of a plate, same exact size. So the license plate are that exact size that sits recessed there in that opening. And then of course you have all your magnets embedded into this panel here. You have your opening cut there for the regular ALP sensor and then the TX up there. And again, these are a bunch of magnets that magnetize to this panel here. So when we look at this, you have all your magnets, you have your bolt holes for your license plate here and here, there and there. And then of course you have your magnets embedded in and then we have the uh, countersink bolts that go to where the factory license plate was bolted in. So everything is designed to attach to the car in a very secure fashion. We have the AL Priority diffuser here. And again, you can see this is kind of kicked on an angle here so it's pointed perfectly back 
and it's perfectly level with the ground. So that's what most people get wrong in this category is they just kind of, a lot of installers will stick these in certain places that look good that kind of go with wherever the rear end of the car is. So in this case, we don't want any more than a two degree variance of this thing going completely down level with the road. And then of course we need it to be level with the ground. So, and then you have your TX right there. And again, your plate frame, basically two pieces of acrylic. You have an eighth inch piece there, and then you have another eighth inch piece of IR acrylic. And to put this back on, you can see it just sucks into place. And then we also have our rear net radar DSP radar detector and that is right up here underneath the taillight again the highest that we could get it within this rear bumper for the best performance all right so taking a look at the inside of the vehicle uh again we have our porsche panamera interior and starting with the led you can see up there in the cluster is one single LED. This is going to be the same LED that you see on the AL Priority controller. This is gonna tell you, one, if you're being hit, um, whether it's front or rear, and then it's also going to tell you when the laser defense is active. So in this case, once the uh, driver gets above, say, I think it's like 21 miles an hour, this LED will turn blue and then the laser defense is active. Same thing with the radar. Once you get over a certain speed, uh, the radar is going to be um, detectable. That way, if you're sitting in traffic, uh, you don't have any just random falses as you're sitting there. Same thing if you're in a parking lot, you don't need the radar detector going off if you're not moving. So that is how this is set up. And really with the AL priority system, we only have one controller. And in this case is going to be right here in this location. This was an area that had a kind of like a little coin tray. So we basically turned that into a new floor. So this is our uh, stealth cover. We can pop that up there, pull that out, and then there's your cover. So if you look at this cover that we made, we put our logo there in the center. This is an Alcantara suede, which you can find in most Porsches. This one does not have any Alcantara in it, but this is uh, generally the Alcantara that they have a good uh, durable material to have in this spot. Um, of course, we made that design there and we rastered it with our laser to create all of those marks that you see there on that cover. With this controller, we have three different profiles. Profile A is going to be a laser diffuser defense and it's going to it's gonna block the signal for about five seconds. So when you get hit, it's gonna to continue to block and defend for about five seconds, and then it's gonna open up that signal. That way the person shooting the laser could get a reading on you. Um, it's good, so it gives you the opportunity to slow down and it's not constantly blocking the signal. Therefore, the person shooting is not gonna believe that you really have anything in the car. They're just gonna believe they didn't get a hit. So the cool thing about AL Priority is they are parking sensors as well. So you can put it in profile C, which is our parking sensor mode. So say you do get pulled over, uh, technically we can turn these into parking sensors. So, you know, if somebody was giving you a hard time, even though it really wouldn't happen with this type of a stealth install, you know, if somebody did question what the things were say on the front, again, they're so stealthy, you would really never even pick it up or because how they're integrated, they really don't look like they're aftermarket. But again, if you're doing a, say a typical install where you're sticking the diffusers on the bumper like most installers do, then you could turn them into parking sensor modes. Uh, you could turn it into parking sensor mode so you could put your hand up to it and they would react like parking sensors. This is great for if, again, somebody questions what they are, they're parking sensors. And then again, we're also running our uh, net radar DSP for the front and rear. You've seen some of the videos that we've done where we use the escort system um the max ci radar platform to where that is going to have a physical display to tell you the information this does not have that so there's actually less stuff to install which makes it a little bit more convenient uh, it is a still a dsp head so you can uh narrow the bands you can eliminate certain frequencies uh you have a lot more control over the radar heads and they are also updatable with other brands out there some of the radar heads are not updatable. So again, you can't really tweak the receivers 
to perform how you want. So if they only if they only shoot certain frequencies of KA band, for instance, you could narrow those bands so you're not going to get falsing within other stuff that you know would not be a threat, which is really cool. So another cool thing about the uh, AL Priority is they have a Bluetooth module that you can then pair with your phone. So if you do want to display, you have the ability to see what's happening in real time up here. You can also use this as the controller. So if you'd rather have your phone out or mounted, you can use this as the display. This can then just go in here and always be hidden. And again, this will control your, your city, your profile. Uh, it'll also show you again, if you're being hit in the rear, what you're being hit by, what the frequency is. And it'll also show you a log of what you've been hit by and what you've picked up. So some of this is our testing. So this multi-radar CD is basically a red light camera. So we have a lot of them here in our town in Delaware. So this is gonna alert you as you're coming up to like a red light camera or a speed light camera. And uh, then it's also gonna show you the different hits that you've been hit by, whether it's laser, radar, we hit it with our stalker earlier and an ultralight gun and it this is just showing you where it was actually picked up so that's a stalker hit that's the ultralight and it's just showing you again what you've been hit by so you know exactly what's hitting the car another convenient thing is you can actually firmware update from the app so you can update the radar heads the latest uh firmware version for the al priority controller and all that can be done right here through the app and then we also installed this phone holder for this client. This is, you know, kind of cool. So um, it's actually made by Kenwood. It's a motorized phone holder. So if you hit the button here on the side, it motorizes open and it has a wireless charger built in right there. It has uh, basically a photodiode here. So it's gonna, it's gonna sense the motion. So as I come close with this, it's gonna automatically motorize and then it's gonna shut. So kind of cool. Um, again, if, if you guys like having your phone up on the, on the windshield like that in front of you, this is actually a really convenient way to use the system. If you have the app up, uh, right there, pretty big and you have your motorized setup, really cool. What we also do for, uh, all our clients as well is anytime that we're installing this stuff, we give you basically these hard cards and they give you all the information, all the serial numbers of the equipment that you have. That way, when you register, or if you're if you want to control the system, you have all that uh, information right here on a card. It's a credit card size, can fit in your wallet. But again, we give you this because it's way better than taking pictures of the boxes or jotting down the information and then losing it in the future when you need it. Um, just a really cool final detail of the install. So thank you guys again for the support, checking out the build. This is uh, something that I love installing. It's always a lot of fun. It's always a challenge to figure out new ways to integrate this stuff in to the car and have it look OEM. If you wanna see other jobs that we've done just like this, our website, Mosaic Design, is actually a great resource for just this. You can see the build logs. You can see all the other YouTube videos associated with each car. Just go to mosaicdesign.com slash radar and it'll come up the different packages, the OEM Stealth, the OEM Standard, and that will give you a good idea of what we've done in different cars, what we can do in different cars, and uh, just how this might look in your car, which may not be a Porsche Panamera. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Here's our three handles down below. You have music underscore design, at the real Matty S, that's my personal one, and sound effects home car. If you have a certain job that you want done, if you're looking at doing something like this, uh, could be audio, could be laser radar, hit us up. Here is my email address, followed by my phone number. These are two, two great points of contact for me. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel hit that bell, turn on the notifications, get notified every time that we release a new video. That way you can be the first to see it. And like always guys, I appreciate it. I'll see you next time.